Hello, viewers, and appreciate you watching. Tonight, Caleb and I are out with a loaded trailer that's landing gear is sinking down in the mud. And the company just wants us to pick it up and pull it up about uh, 10 feet. So you, you can see how far it's already sank in the ground. Caleb's in the uh, Peterbilt V100. Look at this side. So the driver probably just pushed it back a little bit too far one where it's good hard and tight which loaded trailer really shouldn't be dropped at all with uh much weight and much rain as we've gotten here but what i'll probably do is just uh use the kingpin not the kingpin attachment but use two half inch chains with uh the kingpin attachment that slides over the uh kingpin and just put air on it, pick it up, and then pull it up a little bit. And uh, should should get them. But first thing I'm gonna do is stick the wheel up under there, so we will have um, it'd be safe just for us to crawl under there. That this is a safety. Give me power. Should already be on. No, I think we just, they, from what Claudia told me, they just wanted us to move it up about 10 feet. That's what the guy on the phone told me as well. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. All right. But we'll make sure it's good and stable before we pull out from under it. Yes, sir. Let this down and push it under the trailer. Just uh, about with the lift. I want it under there while we hook this up, just as a safety. I got you. not pallets i don't think they will either it's more of a thought that counts thing if i knew um i knew i could get my board that's good all right just barely touched the trailer all Thank you. 
Alright, hold up. Let me uh get over there with you. Alright. Before you get too high. Right, you get your airline already. Fixing to run it. I got it hooked up. Before you uh, go to lift it, yes, I'm gonna release your trailer brake, your truck brakes. Okay. Pull your truck back so we not extend it so far. That way we don't have. See when you got that kingpin, yes, you so far out. This way here supports more weight because than it, the king went pin attachment. Because it's closer to the frame of the truck. Right, yeah, we're not stretched out so far. All right, let me set your brakes. You said it was about 40 in the box. That's what the that's what the guy on the phone told me. There's somewhere between 30 and 40, so I'm just making for 40. That's clear there, ain't it? It's clear, yes, sir. All right. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that, Caleb. You're just going to pull it up to about... Caleb, that's good. I would say pull up to about right here. About right here. Where was that gravel at? The gravel is a little further where it started. It's right here. Right here. You got something back here too. I pull it up about right here. Okay. And let's see. We'll set it down. See how it how it acts. Okay. And then we'll uh, go from there. All so right. just pull up to me, and then we'll uh, just take it easy. I said just take it easy because you might try to wheelie. All right. I'll put it in a uh, low. That's softer than where we at. Yeah, gravel. It's kind of under a layer of top sand. But right here, gravel. And then back here is, I wouldn't call it gravel, but crush, I would call it more like crusher run. This but feels more solid this over right here. here. This is all solid. You think you can turn? And back it up over here. Uh, yes, sir. If you stand there with your flashlight. All right. It turn and head up in there.
Go back the other way, Caleb. Doing good. Mr. Wilbur will say, perfect. Coming down, coming down. Did you screw the landing gear up or down? Uh, I went up a little bit on it. Yeah, screw it back down because they ain't going to be able to... They can let the trailer down, go the other way. Yeah, they can let the trailer down, they ain't going to screw it up. Drop that off and let it hang. There you go. All right. We'll let that baby sit there for a minute. Watch it. Yep. Make sure it don't sink. Yeah, I know they wanted it up, you know, 10 feet, but I just, I feel a lot. That ain't even indent in the ground, is it? Yeah. I believe we're good there. I think it's good. Yeah, I didn't. If, if he'd have been here, I'd have pulled him up, but he, all that looks soft over there. It's like he was at the whole parking lot. All that feels soft, and all that right there, you can't tell it, but that ain't smooth out there. There's a whole bunch of oh, yeah. uh, rocks, and not rocks, but uh, holes, crevices. So, 
Honestly, this is where I was envisioning moving it to. What yeah, this I just like? don't. I don't think you'd have made that that big loop there as, as long as you are. Looking at it now, I think it'd have been very very tight. Well, you had me there to spot you, so that was the easiest what we did. So. Yes, sir. Pull up about ten feet away from the trailer, and we'll put it away. Go out or no, I turned them off. Well, now you feel you can you could you feel the weight back there? Yes, sir. So. Especially when on. Um, you know, when we when we do this on empty trailers, you don't hear it moving that much. When I was making that right, yeah, you when we were coming back, I could hear the chains moving more. And when initial initially releasing the clutch, I could feel it kind of teetering. Yeah, wanting to stand up. Yeah, sir. Then we moved it back on the gravel part where it was packed. And, uh, all right, well, I'm gonna head back to the house. All right, sir. We'll thank see you, you in the morning. No, yes, thank sir. You. I got to go to the fire station in the morning, so. I'll see you sometime. Okay. Okay, viewers, as you see, wasn't a whole lot to it, just something different. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, share. If you like our content channel, please subscribe. As always, stay safe out there and we'll catch you on the next one. Hello viewers, I appreciate you watching. Today I'm headed out to assist Highway Patrol with a, what we're being told is a 18-wheeler tractor that is stuck under a grain trailer. So, but they said it's just a tractor only, so I'm not sure he ran under the back of it or the trailer came unhooked from the tractor and not sure but Mr. Wilbur he's out uh, him and Eric doing a jackknife on I-26 and Caleb's going to Augusta so I'm in the Red Peterbilt and Evan's behind me in the little White International just in case and to help me with rigging but we'll be on scene here in just a little bit We'll be right back with you. Hope you enjoy the video.
bad, is it? No, no. What I, um, set that up on the rear of the truck. What I want to do, Evan, yes, sir. is grab two uh, rim slings and go down around his axles and come up. They should be right here. Give me two of these. down through this hole right here you see that axle <laughs> right here I want to wrap that and come right up on both sides yes See what I'm talking about? Oh. oh, that ain't where you want. Yeah, just like that. But come up. <clears throat> come up to the right here. Yeah. yeah, just like that. And do it to the other one too, right? Yep. I'm gonna back up and twist just a touch. 